I recently received my first DIY 3D printer kit from Banggood. It is an Anet 8 3D printer which is one of the cheapest ones in the market. Being a DIY kit, the printer comes unassembled. All the necessary hardware tools and instruction guides are also provided with the kit. So let's start building. I had a lot of fun assembling the printer. In the process, I have gained a lot of insight on how the system operates and the functions of the different components. Of course, all the credit goes to Anet for creating a detailed instruction guide which makes the assembly process all the more easier. Now our assembly is complete. It's time to power it up. But before that, we have to ensure that the selector switch of the power module is set according to the main supply voltage. Now before printing, it is necessary to make some calibrations. First, we need to adjust the extruder level. Then we will adjust the gap between nozzle head and the hotbed so that no more than a paper can pass through the gap. I am using 1.75mm PLA for printing. We attach the PLA inside the extruder. Finally, it's time to print something. So, let's load a 3D model onto the SD card and start printing. Now as you can see, the print quality is quite good, given its price range. The printer has successfully captured all the intricate details of the model. But there is a layered texture on the surface of the printer structure, which can be removed after some modifications to the printer. In a future video, I will show these modifications for improving the print quality. So see you in our next video, till then, goodbye.